There's another definition in here, it's called the zone. And uh, the zone is three boat lengths from a mark. Now it has changed, wasn't it? Two boat lengths? It was two boat lengths. It changed like two cycles ago. Uh, the 2012-2016 went to three boat lengths. And it's three boat lengths for the first boat to enter the zone. So if a 20 foot boat is coming downwind and the 30 foot boat is trying to get an overlap here as they're going downwind, this zone is 60 feet. Because it's three times a 20 foot boat. Okay? So what it says is that if you get an in, say you're going to ram the mark to port, if you get an inside overlap, in other words, the bow in front of the most aft, you know, part of the, the, the outside boat in the normal sailing position, if you get that overlap before the three boat length, um, you call for room at the mark. Even if you lose that overlap, before you get down here, um, the outside boat has to give room to the inside boat. Okay? And this applies even if the boats are on opposite tacks. And if they're coming at widely divergent angles, it still applies. So if, if you've got your ASIM up and you're sailing a pretty hot angle, coming in and another boat comes in on port, you have to give room for this boat to go around the mark. Oh, that's starboard. This boat's coming in on starboard. You have to give room for that boat to go around the mark and also jive. You have to leave plenty of room for that boat to complete that maneuver as if you weren't even there. So, so an overlap extends pretty much to eternity so if you're if you're approaching at widely divergent angles on opposite tacks you, the, the inside boat has the right of way if it establishes that overlap before it gets to the three boat length circle which it would at this case because the angle goes way out here you know off the off the transom all right so even if the overlap is broken after you get into the circle, in other words, this boat gets a little bit ahead, it has to give room for the boat that established that, that overlap to, uh, to, to, to go around the mark. And overlap is from boat, two boat, lengths boat to three. boat, or is the overlap from helm no, it's to it's boat? from that aftmost, you know, if you've got a, a, a boat with a mizzen sail that sticks out the back, it's from the half most, say, you know, part of, of the outside boat, you know, perpendicular to the center line. To the bow of the other boat. To the, the, the bow of the other boat has to be. Or bow spread. If or bow the bow forward boat is part of their bow. Spread, the bow spread, spread the bow spread can establish it. Anything that's in the normal sailing position, you know, if you've got a, a, a spinnaker that's billowing out in front of a bow spread, you know, it's the the forward most portion of the boat that, that determines the, uh, the, over, the overlap. So the rule, the rule was overlap from the helmsman to the boat, right? No. Well, no it's always been the, 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 it used to be the stern. You, you draw a line <laughs> along the stern out to the side. It used to be that, but now they, they've said it's the, you know, the at, you know, if there's a rudder that sticks out here, whatever the aftmost, you know, oh part of that boat, perpendicular to it, extending in. The picture of the two diversions, where's the overlap there? I mean, the stern doesn't perpendicular to the bow of that one. Whatever well, this boat has had an overlap ever since about what? way back here. Well, you can yeah. see that it bends out. <laughs> so, so as soon as this boat, you know, uh, okay, okay. in catamarans, this happens all the time because you're sailing 45 degrees <clears throat> to each other going downwind. And, uh, and so boats coming in on starboard to round a, you know, a lured mark have overlaps over everybody come down on port. So, uh, so that's, 
That's the way that works. So what would they call? What would somebody yell? Well, that's and that's a good thing mm -hmm. to, to do, is as you're approaching that three boat link circle, if you're, say, this boat, and then you see a boat trying to develop an overlap, one thing you can do tactically is bear off, and that turns, that turns the angle like that so that they can get it, get the overlap, and then as you enter the zone, you say no room, and then even if they come in and get the, an overlap later, you don't have to give them room. Because they're within the zone. Yes. But the zone has changed from three boat lengths to two boat lengths. Two boat lengths to oh, three. three boat. Oh, okay. Of the first boat to enter the zone. The first boat to enter the zone. So. Does everybody understand that? But if they come in that way, everybody should remember too that that big, the big boat that you drew first. He's got an overlap on the guy on him. He's even further outside as well. They're all over. They were all overlapped. Yeah, side. that you can overlap That's more than boat, one if boat. There are boats in between that are stacked up. <laughs> this guy. If there's an intervening boat. Circle. Let's say you have a boat here. Boat here. <coughs> Beyond. They're all sailing downwind. This boat overlaps that one. This one overlaps that one. This boat has rights, though, over all both of these boats. And if there was another boat down here, he would have have rights over all all three of those boats. Four the zone. Yes. Now. Well, as soon as the first one. As soon as the first one enters the zone, the zone he's he's got that overlap, and all. Three of these boats have to swing wide and give the inside one room to go around the mark. And that zone does is based upon. To, does he have to maintain a course towards the mark, or he continue on the same course and draw everybody beyond the ley line? And you cannot do that. No. Oh, yeah, that's not you cannot go beyond the mark. <laughs> yeah. There's a specific rule. <laughs> even though you look it up, even though you establish that course. <laughs> you, yeah. Okay. yeah, you have to sail. And you're you have to not. allow this boat to sail as if there were no other boats present. Okay. And a lot of times that means, you know, to make a good rounding, you're going to swing way wide and then cut it close. So you have to allow that boat to do that, the inside boat, mm -hmm. to sail its proper course and its fastest course. So all these boats have to swing way wide so and give it plenty of room to make, to make that inside rounding. And that zone is based upon the first boat that hits the zone. That's right. And the leeward boat in that case there can has rights on all the other windward boats because of the boom position. Correct. Yeah, they, Correct. this is the leeward boat, all these are to windward. Right. Um, it can't sail above, if, if it uh, made this overlap from behind, it can't sail above its proper course but it can sail its proper course, which may mean that it can swing way wide and then <laughs> round up. Yeah. Which is the way to do it when you're in that <laughs> position. Because then it pushes everybody away, you know, into a, they, they end up having to swing here and then just follow you around that mark, which is what you want to happen. Okay, so. Everybody understand that? Any questions? <laughs> All right. Now, what's different in the last two cycles is what U.S. Sailing did with room at the mark at the windward mark. You're, 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 well, we're a little incorrect there because she either had them on starboard tack coming in. If she has to jive, she's not allowed to go way around. She has to do a seaman-like rounding if she's if she's. That's if she's, correct, but you you can swing wide no, seaman -like and then close. Seaman-like rounding. That's not. That's a seaman-like seaman rounding. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. Wide in, tight out. That's yeah, right. That, that's a that's, that's a exactly racing right. that's a racing turn. You'll get protested for sure. I've seen that protest many no, times. No, in fact, there's appeals cases in, on this, and you can you can swing wide. You do have to jive. You can't go beyond the mark. But you can uh, you can swing wide and then and then round up close haul as you as you round the mark. Yeah, with 
Which you agree? Maybe on the label. Chris? <laughs> yeah. By the way, in my opinion, uh, Mark Room is the most contentious thing that occurs on a race course because there's no, there's no ring on the water to know where that zone is. There's no infinite perpendicular to the aftmost and forwardmost parts, and it's a subjective call. And if it's windy, it's very, uh, yes, you know, very you're approaching very fast. Right, right. But, I mean, 18.4 yeah. is in the book for a reason, which is when an inside overlap right of white boat must jive at a mark to sail her proper course, until she shives, she shall sail no further from the mark than needed to sail that course. That's why 18.4 is in there. That's correct. Is to not allow you to sail wide. No, because sailing wide is your proper course. But that's, but <laughs> she shall sail, sail no farther from the mark than needed to sail. Right. In order to make that close rounding right there, you can't cut it tight. You'll be to the right of the mark. You'll, in, you'll end up way down here. Right. Right. So you're, there are some appeals cases if you look them up. Okay that allow you to sail, I mean, you can't take somebody way down like that, but you've got, you can, you can, you, you, you're allowed to sail this as if you, no other boats were there. Okay? Unless you're diving, and that's 18.4. If you're not diving, I fully agree with you, you can do whatever you want. But if you're diving, then... Well, you're not diving till the mark, because my, my you polars... You actually jive right about here. Yeah, my right. polars would... And then you, and then you round up close. And, uh, uh, but again, it says, until she jives, she shall sail no further from the mark than needed to sail the course. But that's but no further than needed as opposed to going another six boat lengths and then driving. Yes, <laughs> what they're saying is you can't right. carry somebody down here and then jive and take off. Right. But you can make a seaman like rounding around the mark. What's the definition of jiving? I mean, there's a definition for tacking. What's the definition for jiving? There is no There used to be one. You couldn't tack or jive. Uh, so tacking is from center line to pole position. There's no definition for jiving. Jiving is just, you're either on starboard tack or your port tack. Oh. From from one to the other. So it's the same. So, so, I, boom is on. so coming up to the mark, I'll swing the boom to the other side that it's going to be on after I round the mark, and then take my ASIM and round it whenever I want. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, so you could sail by the lee, for instance, if you wanted to. You can sail by the lee. And you can force somebody off the lay line. No, we that's sailing beyond line, your so proper. Everybody off the that's line. what you can't do. <laughs> no, no, but that's exactly what you can't do anymore. It you you used to be you could take someone so far away from the race course it was silly. All right, Chris, right. am I right? Yeah, yeah the, as my understanding. But I, I mean, I'm no expert. That's why I'm sitting on this side. <laughs> but, but no, this is why I said this is one of these very contentious things. It's a very subjective determination on the water, from another boat's perspective, you might think they should have already jibed. But the people seemingly operating that boat are thinking otherwise. And that's, that's correct. This, is, this is where protests go to jury rooms, because and these are the kinds of things. Port Starboard rarely happens. You can get a, a, a whole book of appeals right. that will go over, the, you, know, this, you know, if you look it up, They'll have a whole bunch of cases that have, have been appealed and, and ruled on right. and that determine, you know, uh, the, exactly what you can do and what you can't do. Um, but anyway, uh, uh, one thing that's good to do is you're approaching Lured Mark and that you might be getting an overlap or, or might be trying to prove you don't have one is, is, you know, maybe four or five boat lengths from the mark, you know, if you're clear ahead, Turn around to everybody behind you and say, no room, you know, just loud and clear. You know, there's, I'm not giving any room at this mark, and then, you know, make it rounding. If you've got an overlap, the same thing. If you, if, if you know you've got an overlap, you know, five boat lengths, you go, I'm going to need room at this mark. And then, uh, and then when you hit the three boat length circle, say, I'm going to need room at this mark, you know, loud and clear, you know. And, uh, and if you need to jive, say I'm going to need room to jive as well, you know, just to let everybody know, you know, what you're going to do so that, you know, it's a little bit clearer. 
you know, as you come ahead. The more you can talk, you know, your way through these situations, the, the better off you're going to be. Okay, so Question. let's go to what's new. Question. But, yeah. Can I claim room, no room at the mark when I don't have it? There's a fair sailing rule in here. <laughs> it says you're, you're supposed to not do that. Okay. Okay. But has there been appeals as to people that have done that when it should not? I'm not. I'm not sure. Okay. There, there could be, but uh, uh, there have been there, people there have banned been, from sailing for. <laughs> yeah, there have been people banned stuff. from sailing for for yelling starboard when they're on port tack. Yeah. Uh, banned from the regatta. There's been all kinds of stuff like that. So you, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's go to the windward one. And what U.S. Sailing has done is, is they've clarified room coming into the windward mark. Let's say there's two boats coming in on starboard tack, and there's the wind, leeward boat, windward boat, inside boat here. Um, if as they approach that three boat length circle. The windward boat, which is the outside boat, has to give the inside boat room to round the mark <coughs> as you come up wind, which means, you know, he can't, as he's halfway around, force this boat, you know, down. You've got to give that boat complete room to round that mark, all with, right? With overlap prior to the circle. Prior to the circle.